Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petros Fore. In today's computer science lesson, we'll learn about data presentation. We'll be converting hexadecimal numbers to binary. I highly recommend you watch my video on binary numbers so that you can understand these concepts much better. In mathematics and computing, hexadecimals is a position system that represents numbers using a base of 16. So whenever we talk about hexadecimal, talking about base 16 numbers. Remember, binary is base 2 and denary or decimals is base 10. In hexadecimals, we use 16 different digits to represent these numbers. This is from 0 up to 9 and then A up to F. Hexadecimal numbers are used in several ways. One of the ways is to represent color codes in HTML. In computing, each color is represented by six digits, which can be referred to as red, blue, and green. It is important to also understand that hexadecimal numbers are also used in technical information. When you are dealing with error referencing in computing, hexadecimal numbers are used. You may have seen the famous blue screen when a computer develops an error and it gives you some strange codes on it. These are error references which technical people can understand and solve problems related to the error. When can 25 be equal to 19? Is this possible that 25 can ever be equal to 19? Yes, when you are using different number systems this can highly be possible. When you have hexadecimal numbers, what is important is to note that you are having 16 digits, but this 16, you have 6 and 10. In other words, we are saying 0 to 9, which is for base 10, and you have an extra 6 on top. And this gives us 16 total digits which are used. For this reason, when we deal with denary, from 0 up to 15, remember, in denary, we use digits from 0 to 9. So when we have 0 up to 15, now in hex, what happens is from 10, we have to use A, B, C, D, E, and F to represent our 10, 11, 12, 13, up to 15. That's how hexadecimals work. In this table, you can identify the relationship that exists between denary, binary, and hex. When you have a 1 in denary, in binary it is 0, 0, 0, 1, and then in hex that becomes 1. You can clearly see that the denary value for 0 up to 9 is the same as in hex, and then when we go to binary, these numbers keep changing. Finally, at the bottom, we have 15 in denary, which is quad 1 and it corresponds to f in hexadecimal numbers it is time for us to now convert 1a to binary then we will eventually convert it to denary to convert we need to split the 1 and the a so that we are able to see what are the values that correspond to each digit as you know 1 is the same in hexadecimal and also in binary and this gives us 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is the reference for 1 when we are dealing with binary numbers. When it comes to A, remember, A refers to 10 in denary, but in binary, it's 1, 0, 1, 0. So this is the reference for A. So the first digit is 2 to the power of 0, which will be 1, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3. So in this case, we have 2 and 8, which add up to give us 10. After that, we now combine the 2 to get this final result. We are now going to convert 1a into decimal or denary. So to convert, we are supposed to always start from the right going left. We have two parts here, and these parts will be 2 represented by this first one, this is 8, and this is 16. When you add 16 plus 8 plus 2, 
it gives you 26. So that's what happens. You just have to know which value corresponds to each digit here. Once you have identified the values, you simply add them up and then you get your denary value. It is time for us to do this activity. I want you to post this video and convert BF to binary and also convert it to denary. Time to reveal. We are going to see that BF in binary, B is represented by this. Remember B is 11. So 11 is made out of a 1, 2 and an 8. And F is quad 1. We now have to convert all this into denary. And to convert, remember each of these digits is representing these values and we add them up to get 191. That is the value of BF. So when you have a code in hex BF, it means 191 in denary. It is time to look at how this value will be. What is the value for B3F? I want you to pause again and try to convert and let's see what you come up with. It's time to reveal. This is B and 3 is a combination of 1 and 2 which is 0011. Then F is represented that way. This then takes us to 2847. Convert these hexadecimal numbers to binary. I want you to try this out and post your results in the comments below. Let me know if you have managed to convert. Until next time, take care of yourself and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. A pleasant day to you.